araba olmasa başka arabayla gidilemez. Heavy rains and flash floods have swept parts of the Gulf region, killing at least 18 people in Oman and causing travel disruption in the United Arab Emirates, UAE. In Oman, the death toll announced on Tuesday included at least nine school children and their driver, whose vehicle was washed away by the floodwaters in Samad Aishan on Sunday. The National Committee for Emergency Management said rescue teams were still searching for two missing people. The government gave administrative staff in public and private sectors the day off due to the bad weather conditions in several provinces, while remote work was recommended in other parts of the Sultanate. Residents were also urged to evacuate to shelters if they felt they were in danger or asked by authorities to do so. Police and soldiers were deployed to the hardest hit province of Ash Sharkia North to transport citizens out of flooded areas, according to state media. Meanwhile, heavy rainfall also lashed the neighboring UAE on Tuesday, flooding portions of major highways and leaving vehicles abandoned on roadways across Dubai. <laughs> The rains began overnight, leaving massive ponds on streets as whipping winds disrupted flights at Dubai International Airport. Schools across the country largely shut before the storm and government employees were working remotely if able. Many workers stayed home as well, though some ventured out, with the unfortunate stalling out their vehicles in deeper than expected water covering some roads. Authorities sent tanker trucks into the streets and highways to pump away the water. Oh my gosh. Initial estimates suggested more than 30 millimeters, 1.2 inches, of rain fell over the morning in Dubai, 
with as much as 128 millimeters, five inches, of rain expected throughout the day. Rain also fell in Bahrain, Qatar, and Saudi Arabia. Heavy rains lashed the United Arab Emirates on Tuesday, flooding out portions of major highways and leaving vehicles abandoned on roadways across Dubai. Meanwhile, the death toll in separate heavy flooding in neighboring Oman rose to 18 with others still missing as the Sultanate prepared for the storm. The rains began overnight, leaving massive ponds on streets as whipping winds disrupted flights at Dubai International Airport, the world's busiest for international travel and the home of the long-haul carrier Emirates. By the evening, over 120 millimeters, 4.75 inches, of rainfall had soaked the city-state, the typical average for a year in the desert nation, with more expected in the coming hours. Police and emergency personnel drove slowly through the flooded streets, their emergency lights flashing across the darkened morning. Lightning flashed across the sky, occasionally touching the tip of the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building. 